Hey there, the year has been great so far with many new mods releasing and famous ones updating. Today's video, I'll be going over 20 mods for 1.20.4 February 2024. Now without any further ado, let's dive into the video. With the Woodwalkers mod, you can morph into any mob by simply pressing U while looking at the mob. You need to press it for about 5 seconds. The special about this mod is how you can gain the mob's ability along with their hearts. Be careful though, once you morph into a certain mob, there is no do-overs, at least you use the searching command. I enjoyed this mod so much and with the fresh animations pack, you could take it to the next level. Some of the morphs will also wear your armors along with equipping your swords, which make them look incredible. Camps, Castles, Carriages is a mod with an obvious name. The mod will include all of the mentioned structures in the game. You'll be able to come across a number of these buildings in different biomes and with different habitats. Some can be friendly, others will try to shred you to pieces. So I would recommend practicing caution when entering this place. Nature's Compass is a mod with a single new item, that being the Nature Compass. This unique tool allows you to travel to any biome, whether it's located nearby you or thousands of blocks away. The compass will just come up with the exact location. And as you can see, this compass is also compatible with mods such as Terlet, so expect it to work with other world generation mods as well. First person model is an incredible mod to elevate your first person perspective. The mod will allow you to see your whole body during various activities. And while this effect can be intrusive at times, it doesn't hurt to have it around in some occasions, as you will be able to disable it and enable it using the searching hotkey. Extra arrows adds a bunch of new arrows with different abilities. Some to mention are the lightning bolt arrows. These are one of the most useful since you'll be able to transform villagers into witches and creepers into charge creepers and he also deals ton of damage. The explosive arrow is probably everyone's favorite and I don't have to explain its functionality much, just point the fact that it can cause mass destruction. The freezing arrow will summon snowy grass along with freezing your opponent. Lantern arrow will light up the place, and the magnetic arrow will create some sort of a black hole that will pull everyone towards it. There are heap more arrows to discover with this mod, so I would recommend giving it a try. Controlling mod is a crucial addition for any player, specifically players with many functional mods. What controlling does is that it allows you to search up key bins. You could search them up by name or even search them by category, where you will receive all of the key bands for the individual mod. Journey map will add a unique minimap on the top corner of your screen. What sets this mod apart is how you can set temporary waypoints, those being markers that will vanish as soon as you reach them. With a single click, you could zoom in and out in the map, and you could also expand it to see all of your discovered areas as well as turning on and off certain parameters like mob visibility, scaling the map, configuring the visuals and more. You could also modify the settings so that the map reveals the case. This option will uncover most of the structures nearby including mine shafts, lush caves and other places. Same applies to the nether as you will be able to see all of your surroundings despite the bedrock layer on top which was an issue I found in several other minimaps. The minimap expands to the end dimension as well. I believe the map can also reveal dimensions on other dimensional mods, but I'm not sure about it. Deeper and darker adds use to the warden in the game. Once killed, this map will drop hard to the sea, an ancient item used to ignite the deep dark portal. Make sure to remove all the skulk before firing the portal. Upon entering this new realm, few new biomes will be spotted. Within this place are many hostile creatures. Although they are blind, they can still hear every bit of sound you make, 
and do will attack you in large groups causing critical damage if not well equipped. One of the mods here called the Skulk Snapper can be tamed using an enchanted netherite chest plate. Once tamed, the snapper will have your back and will attack your enemies. And the final map in this dimension called the Skulk Worm, a big entity emerging from within the ground and biting you at every given chance. Throughout your journey, you'll be able to gather some items necessary to construct the new set of Skulk armors. Along with the brand new Solar Letra, that is honestly quite useful, as it will rid you of having to carry any fireworks whatsoever. Just fly with it and the Alatra will propel you forward every time you press shift. Though the Alatra will have a cooldown so as to not be overkill. Tough as Nails is a mod with a honest name. The game will get a lot tougher as you will need to chase warmth in snow biomes or else you will freeze to death. This warmth can be drawn from a campfire. In the hot desert, things could get even worse, since you are at the risk of dying by dehydration. The only way to counteract that is by placing a soul campfire, and to also wear some green leafy clothes to protect your skin from the downtown sun. This mod will be a good foundation for any hardcore mod pack. Enchantment Lore is an easy to understand mod. It will simply offer a complete guide for any enchantment in the game. In my own experience, I've had times where I would just ignore some enchantments because I didn't understand their use. But with this mod installed, you make sure not to miss out on any unique ability some books could give you. To enhance Minecraft structures in the most vanilla way possible, you will need to give dungeons and chambers a try. This mod revives this particular part of the game by including a kaleidoscope of simple and sometimes big structures to Minecraft. These can be completely new buildings like the new jungle village and the swamp village or an enhancement of the existing structures, those being the vanilla mansions which became huge. Or the witch hat, there is now a villa. I love this mod until it gives you, my friend, the ability to inhabit some of these structures. With the Bumble Zone mod, your view of the beehive will be completely altered. You can enter the inside of the hive and once you do, you will surely love the new structures, walls in and atmosphere. It truly feels like a utopia for bees. Within this place, there is an ancient weapon waiting for a courageous warrior to take it. That being you, the weapon itself is quite weak, but you can place it in your house as a trophy. Same goes to any of the other new blocks and items you could collect from this dimension. Except for honey. Honey is something you don't want to touch for various of good reasons. To leave the dimension, all you've got to do is dig straight down until you reach the void. Slayer's Beasts is a mod that offers few new biomes. They are quite similar to the ones presented in Biomes of Plenty. These places can have a lot of dangerous insects, along with few mythical creatures like the birch ants and oak ants. Those are some peaceful mobs, but once attacked, they won't rest until you are dead. A mod with some seriously good biomes is William Wider's expanded ecosphere. The terrain generated here are one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. The unique about this mod is the amount of variety within each one of these biomes. You'll notice an incredible amount of details indicating how hard William had worked on his mod. There is a separate mod called William Wider's Overhaul Overworld, which offers similar biomes but in the form of enhanced vanilla biomes. I would recommend checking that out too. Nifty Blocks mod adds a bunch of decorational blocks. This mod is quite special in that it adds blocks for interiors and exteriors as well. Most of the blocks here are craftable within the vanilla Minecraft and will help you a lot if you are more into the modern way of decoration. One of the best performance mods have around is Chunky. This mod will allow the chunks to be loaded passively in the background. Just run these commands, choose the radius you want, and wait. 
After it's done rendering, the loading will feel smoother depending on the radius you've chosen. If you chose a radius that is too high, expect an incredibly high rendering time. But I see it as an absolute win. You can set the radius too high and go do something while it's loading. And once it's done, you will have loaded thousands of blocks in the distance. Centerscapes adds few new biomes to the nether. Those will be very common and you will find them in abundance. The biomes included the ashy shoals, blackstone shales, luminous groove and the quartz cavern. These biomes will have new blocks and unique effects surrounding them. The first thing notable about Extra Alchemy are the new rings. They work as renewable potions that you can activate on the fly by simply shifting and right clicking them. There are also a bunch of new effects added. For you to mention are first the sails, which makes your boat a lot faster. You may as well call it a yacht at this point. The return effect, which will return you to your spawn location. Piper effect, which will make you famous. Pacifism potion will weaken and slow any attacker. Combustion is a self removing tool. The gravity effect will make some mobs lose their ability to fly. This can be especially useful against fixes. Potion of learning will allow you to earn higher XP levels than usual. And finally, there is the recall effect, which will teleport you to the location where you originally drank the potion. This effect will be activated once it wears off. It can be a great tool for quick retreat. Enchant with Mob as the enchanter from the game Minecraft Dungeons. This new mob isn't hostile. I attacked him many times and he didn't fight back. Well, he did, but just an attempt to make me leave him alone. Using some of the enchanting box from the mod, you can even enchant your mobs, and you will have special perks based on the book used. Apart from being a very aesthetically pleasing mod, Easy Magic will also help you reroll enchantments if you are not sure, though this rolling will require few XP levels. But I bet many players would prefer that over having to enchant and disenchant a bunch of items. If you enjoyed the list, a like and a subscribe would be much appreciated. And hey, you'll get a constant dose of modding content, so it's a good trade after all. If you want to watch the mods of 1.20.4 for January and mods of the month for last month, here you go. See ya in the next one.